I literally woke up one morning in April with the whole Goodfellas of Baltimore concept just flashed before me. What can we do to help people who are a lot less fortunate than us? We help a different family every week and we help a different charity every week in the Baltimore area and we invite the community, individuals, corporate sponsors, celebrities, to come along with us and, and be a part of the solution. Now these are guys who are running their own businesses. I, I hope that we can become an inspiration. When I got the call from AJ, he said that uh, we had uh, some families that needed some help and he was trying to get a group of seven people together to try to expand upon what we can do individually and do it as a group. Our passion is helping people. Um, so we kind of went over, you know, to exposing the charities, to helping the families, to making a difference in the city that we love, but we all know the perception of it from the outside looking in. In the 60s, they said if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. We want people to be a part of the solution. It forces you to not push it aside. I mean, it's easy to help people when you can, but I don't think I ever did it as much time and effort as I am now, never. This first episode of Goodfellas of Baltimore is helping the Kiosi family, a family whose house was devastated by fire uh, in the summertime. And we're helping them to uh, get uh, their, their house rebuilt. The night of the fire, um, actually, Tasha had w woken me up. And she had said she smelled smoke or something cooking. And uh, when I got up, I could I saw that the room was, was filled with all this smoke. I could see the smoke just coming in all right here. And I quickly woke my husband up. And um, he jumped up and he went to the window. And that's when he saw the police car going by really, really slow. He was looking up. And her and I started getting the kids up. We, we all just got up and, and, and got dressed. And uh, some of them got well, dressed. some of us got dressed. <laughs> But uh, we just got out as quickly as we could. It was almost like a dream, like it really wasn't happening. And when you just walked out the door, you could feel the heat. The flames and the heat was so intense that it, it, um, that's, you know, that was, that's what I remember the most. Members of the mob aren't your average everyday people. They play by a different set of rules. When mob members don't like something, they step in and do what they have to do because that's the code they live by. Joining the mob isn't something you take lightly because when you join the mob, you're in for good. Volunteering, mentoring, changing lives. Mentors of Baltimore, the mob. Join us at www.goodfellasofbaltimore.com forward slash the mob.